Say hello to RotoWire Senior Golf Writer and 2020 DFS Writer of the Year, Len Hochberg. So, Len, let's just jump in here. Are you chasing or fading these players at the Charles Schwab Challenge this week? So, despite a T30 finish at the PGA Championship, Jordan Spieth is your highest-priced golfer for this week's Charles Schwab Challenge. Are you chasing a better Spieth performance with a salary of 11200 Well, Jesse, yes, I I think I I am, and I think we all should. Um, You know, Jordan Spieth won this tournament before in 2016. He was runner-up in 2017, so we know he can perform here. What I really like about Jordan Spieth this week is that he was playing well at this tournament, even when he was in his four-year doldrums. He finished 10th here last year. He was 8th the year before. Uh, He seems to play well at this track, no matter how the rest of his game is going. And we know his game is pretty good right now. Uh, He'll probably be a popular play, but with good reason. Well, it is PGA Championship debut. Young Will Zalatoris ended T8 thanks to a 70 in the final round. He's your sixth most expensive golfer this week at 9,900. Are you chasing or fading that Zalatoris can keep up his good form? Yeah, it's, uh, you know, every week uh, he, he's in the mix, he's in the conversation. Uh, and, you know, it, it's with not without great peril that I say, I think this is a week to fade Will Zalatoris. Maybe fade is too strong a word. I think there are some other uh, golfers in the Price neighborhood who are, who are better situated uh, than he is. Uh, you know, he really excels at the very longest tracks. He Pretty much excels at just about every track, but his two of his poorer performances this year were at Pebble Beach. He didn't crack the top 50, and more recently at Harbor Town, he finished outside the top 40. Colonial is somewhat like Harbor Town, and it's a shorter, more accuracy, uh, tactical track. Um, so I think this is a good week to stay away from Will Zalatoris and look at some others in the neighborhood. Well, Tony Finau also had a nice run at the Ocean Course at Kiowa Island, finishing T8 as well. He's going to cost you 9600 So are you chasing Tony's good vibes are going to continue this week in Texas? Yeah, he's another guy. He plays well just about every week, and he was great last week. Uh, you know, as expected, a super long track, and he just plays well in the majors. He he just shows up every time, four times a year. Well, a lot more than that. But again, at $9,600, I don't know if this is the best place to play Tony Finau. Uh, just above him at 97 is Abraham Answer, and Abraham Answer being ahead of Tony, uh, more pricey than Tony Finau, tells you all you need to know about what the feeling is about answer this week. He's going to be a popular play, but even just a little bit lower than, than Finau, Scotty Scheffler at 9,500 and Corey Connors at 9,400. Save you a few bucks, but I also think they're better plays overall. All right. Where are you going to be finding value this week at Colonial? Yeah, we only have 121 guys in the field and more than 65 where 65 and ties make the cut. So this is another one of those weeks where more than half the field will make the cut. So we are going to dip deep into the sevens and a lot of guys in the sixes. So we'll be there on the weekend to help you go uh, six for six. But starting it right at 8,000, Brian Harmon. Brian Harmon missed his first cut of the year last week at the Ocean Course. Frankly, I think he was just a little bit overmatched by the, the sheer length. Colonial should be much more to his liking. A couple other guys just a little bit below him. Similar uh, stance for me. Emiliano Grio at 7,900. Chris Kirk at 7,600. I think they both can really... Uh, play well at this course, more of a of an accuracy type setting. Uh, a little bit lower down, uh, we get down to the, around seven thousand dollars. Rory Sabatini not had a good year. Finally showed some signs last time out. He just missed the top twenty five at the Byron Nelson, but he plays well at the at Colonial every year. Top twenties four of the f- past five years. I think he's a he's a good play. He was even fourteenth last year in that super loaded field. Maverick McNeely at 6,900 and all the way down at 6,700. If you're looking someone for someone to just make the cut, probably not to get a high finish, but just someone to get you through to the weekend, Brian Stewart, 6,700. He, he's made six straight cuts at Colonial. All right, finally, Len, who is your pick to win the Charles Schwab Challenge? Yeah, Colin Morikawa came close last year. Colin Morikawa comes close lots of weeks in lots of places. 
Uh, he, he really outperformed what I thought he would do last week at the Ocean Course, super long, not his, his really his strength, but really, uh, obviously, he can play well just about anywhere. Uh, this is much more to his liking. Uh, he finished just uh, lost last year to Daniel Berger in a playoff. Uh, if we're talking accuracy, if we're talking tee to green, if we're talking greens and regulation, uh, Colin Morikawa has to be at the top of just about everybody's list. I guess Jordan Spieth probably will be the number one pick if you ask people who they think will win this week. But Colin Morikawa was right there and actually liked him a little bit better than Jordan Spieth.